try it. Okay, I'm going to do one more learning moment. Bear with me. This is what I do professionally, but I also think it's important. We're here for a political show, so let's like, leave Thanks you with so some nice. practical knowledge. What? I'm, I'm down. Usually the cues are 100% worth it. Very good sense of humor. So like generally down to play. Okay. Does everybody here know what a hate crime actually is? Ooh, yeah. See, that's why. Okay. This is important. Okay. So I'm walking down the street. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, vaguely offensive language, but it's a drag show. So I'm walking down the street and somebody punches me in the face and calls me a faggot. Okay. For example, I know. I'm sorry. Here we go. We've arrived. We can do it. We can do it. I promise. Look. So what they did is assault. That's the crime, right? So it's a crime of assault. Now, when it comes to sentencing, though, if it is deemed that the crime is hate-motivated, i.e. faggot, right, in this circumstance, and not just like that was the only word that is in his head, which sometimes happens. It's a weird thing around hockey games, but... Right? That means that the sentence, it means it's aggravated, which means that the crime was caused because somebody chose to do it out of hate motivation. That is what a hate crime is. It has a designated impact on sentencing. Does that make sense? Right? So just hating someone is not a crime. Probably good. We all have exes, right? But what is really important is whether or not you choose to act on that hatred. That is what the human rights protections we have in this country protect, right? So for example, based on the Canada Health Care Act, the Canada Health Act, you have a right to health care. All right? And that is something that we can actively defend. It is a, controversion of, a contravening of your human rights in order to deny you appropriate evidence-based health care. Right? So that is what we're fighting for. So remember, we're fighting for something that not only do you already have and deserve to continue to have, but it exists in enshrined legal documentation. And lots of people who are in this bar fought for those rights. And it is our job to recognize that struggle by making sure that they're enshrined forever. That is the fight that we are in. Okay? <laughs> So when somebody does says something shitty to you outside or out of a car or right out of a car window, Pride used to go down half of 17th Ave and they'd throw beer cans at us from one side. Super fun. That's very true. That was the beginning of Pride down here. It's a whole thing. That's why it's not on 17th now. But what this means is document that shit. Get the license plate, document that shit, because proving a pattern of behavior is what creates a, a, something that can lead to a crime designation, like harassment, for example. And so this is how we look out for each other. So know what your legal rights are. You actually have a lot more than you think that you do. And if people are moving in discriminatory ways against you, put them on fucking camera. Document that shit, hold on to it, and then do something with it. Report them, make it a problem. The civic institutions in this world belong to you. Okay? Right? You fund them, you make them what they are, and we will create a future that works for all of us, but it involves us choosing to take ownership of it. So, there's a lot of hate in the world. We are bigger and stronger than that, but know what your rights are, because those are phenomenal, and we can hold those in account for each other, okay? Does that make sense? Cool.